Can I speak about something? What I am going to speak about is going to be somewhat in a sexual nature, but not in bad taste. So let me give you that warning. <clears throat> Sometimes some people may contact me about sexual sins, as in pretty much, <clears throat> and how to stop it. Like, Kevin, I want to stop masturbating. I want to stop fornication. Stuff like that. And that is good. Some people may believe it is impossible or very, very, very difficult to not do sexual sins. Some people may believe it is so hard that they should give themselves willingly to it because why resist if ultimately you are going to give in anyway? Some people may think in that way. Let me say this. In my past, I would engage in fornication so much, so much. I used to watch pornography probably much more. And I am not trying to be gross or anything like that, but even while having girlfriends, I would prefer much of the time masturbation more than intercourse. I am being serious. And I believe because of my past, I may have opened a spiritual door and I hope it is closed. I don't know. Anyways, when I tried to stop masturbating and stuff like that, I think that was one of the hardest things it was for me. I believe that was like the hardest thing to stop. And I struggled for years, for years, trying to stop masturbation. And back in the past, I would get so many sexual dreams, so many of them, I believe, and wet dreams and stuff like that. And for a while, how it was in the past for me, I would try to serve God. And as it seemed like something was like, man, it would seem like demons or whatever would like increase in trying to get me to do what is wrong. I believe I forget how everything was, but I believe like I would get so many more temptations to want to watch pornography and to do that sex stuff, masturbation, stuff like that. And I believe I struggled with pornography and masturbation so much so much. And eventually, I got over it. 
And do you think like those attacks stopped? Like, do you think that those dreams about sex stopped? Do you think like demons don't mess with my mind about sexual issues? Do you think that? Do you think that, you know, <laughs> like everything is fine and I don't get tested, tempted, or whatever else like that? No. Like, I have to resist. Sometimes it may feel like I am on like a thin thread. Meaning like, it feels like I'm like one inch in from giving in to a sexual temptation. I believe I am being tested. Let me say this too. I believe maybe from now and back a week or some days, I think that the spirit of lust or something has really increased in trying to tempt me. Unusual, how can I say this? I would say the spirit of lust attacks me, but in like a usual way for me, I guess I can say, like, this may be difficult to understand. So I would say the way I think that spirit is attacking me, it's not in its usual way, if that makes any sense as it seems to me like the attacks has ramped up, went up. I am serious. Like in my thoughts, I believe, I'm not so sure about in my dreams, but I believe so much more, probably my dreams too. I don't remember my dreams too well. But especially in my thoughts. So many nasty thoughts. Like as if it has increased. Is it me? Is it me wanting to think nasty? Like, hey, let me think about this nasty thing and that nasty thing. No. No, I am not that way. Even though that is happening to me, even though I may get sexual dreams, even though I feel like I am being attacked, what can I do? I believe I can pray, which I do pray. I believe I can fast, which I should probably do more of. I believe I can tell someone else and we can pray together, right? I don't have to, even though I believe I am being attacked, I don't have to give in to what is trying to happen to me. I believe I have the ability to resist, right? Right? I believe I have the ability to resist. Even though nasty thoughts come to my mind, even though nasty dreams come to me, even though whatever else may be happening, I can resist. I can do something to not give in to the devil, right? 
I haven't engaged in sex in years. So why am I still, as it seems to me, why am I still having dreams and all that stuff like that as if I am doing those things? Why? My focus is not on sex. I don't try most of the time to listen to sexual music unless someone is playing it near me. Unless I listen to it to see what they are talking about, to see how, I guess, how vain or silly much music is, which I believe. Just because you get that turned on feeling doesn't mean you should watch pornography and begin masturbating. Just because you get that turned on feeling doesn't mean you should find a woman or find a man and do some mess with. I believe, and please listen to what I am saying. I could, there was a place where a woman was pretty much telling me in so many words that, hey, like you can pick me and if you pick me, we can do this and blah, 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 blah. In so many words. But if I do that with her, there is a price to pay, right? Even if I was being tempted to do something that is bad, I can't just look at the outside and say, hey, this is a really good deal because I get this and let's say that's all I choose to look at. No, I have to look deeper, right? Hey, that woman probably blah, 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 blah. Hey, I might get her pregnant. Hey, this and that. So let me resist, as the Bible say, right? Let me resist. Let me not give into the devil. I am not saying I am perfect, but let me not give into the devil and move past that. If someone or something is giving me a hard time, and trying to live for God, maybe I should move out the way, right? Maybe I should stay away from that person. But we need to learn how to resist. Yes, you may get a cessation, a sensation down there, you know, but you don't have to give in to it, do you? Like, Kevin, it's right there and I need to satisfy it. No, you don't. No, you don't, right? I believe the more you resist, I won't really say the easier it is going to become, but in a sense, I think that is true too. I don't feed myself lust stuff. I don't watch no video with women shaking their behinds and all that stuff there. I don't really listen to much of like cussing music and stuff like that. Sometimes I may listen to something with cussing in it. Which it is not all the way right. But be careful in what you feed yourself. I think some people may listen to bad music and wonder why they are cussing or doing sexual stuff. Stay away from that stuff. Now, you may ask me, why do I feel like 
the spirit of lust has increased or attacking more? Honestly, I don't really know why. Like, it always attacks, but much of the time, it, from what I understand, it doesn't attack as much as it is now. Unless I have been praying for some people with masturbation problems or whatever. I don't know. But if you can, please pray for me. Because I think it has been a while since so many filthy thoughts come to my mind like that. So strange. Like, <laughs> so strange. Filthy thoughts. Like, as, as if I can see it. Weird stuff, man. And if you want... <clears throat> And if you want prayer, please ask me because I pray just about every day, which I think prayer is extremely necessary. So if you masturbate a lot or trying to stop masturbating, you don't have to give in to it. I could give in to it and watch porn and stuff like that. But I went down that road for years, for years, and it doesn't work. Kevin, I am just going to do it this one time and masturbate and that's it. That's all I am going to do. No, I believe if you give in to it, you are going to do it again and again and again. Now you right back. Now you giving yourself fully back to sin again, which I believe, don't even touch it. Don't even touch it. There is a person I speak to and in so many words, I tell the person, something may not be a sin, something may not be a sin, but if it is going to lead you to it, stay away. Going to the beach may not be a sin, but if I see a woman in a two-piece and it makes me want to lust after her, then perhaps I should not go to beaches, right? Right? Something I may want to do may not be a sin, but if it is going to drag me away from Jesus Christ, I need to stay away, right? I need to stay away from that thing, right? Right? Don't be so obsessed with what is a sin and you are doing stuff that is not a sin, but is ultimately taking you down the pathway to sins. Huh? Well, Kevin, wearing makeup is not a sin, Kevin. But is it dragging you to pride? Is it dragging you to wear tight clothes and, and be a prostitute? Is it making you a worse person? If it is, stay away, right? But it is not a sin, Kevin. I want to do it. So you want to go to hell then, right? It doesn't matter if it is a sin, if it is going to drag you away from God and make you sin or drag you away from God to for you to sin, I guess I can say, why do it? Why do it? Why? Kevin, it is not a sin, so I can do it. But... The effect is negative, right? So why do it? Why do it? Something may seem innocent, 
but if the effect is negative to where it is going to make you do something wrong, don't do it, right? But Kevin, I don't see it in the Bible as being wrong. Man, let me stop here.